could use that drink. Actually, it's, uh, it's getting kind of late. I'm not going to leave you like this. I'll be all right. No, I know what you're going through. We both had our hopes crushed. I thought Rick was going to get rid of Amber, and you thought Macy was going to accept your proposal. Well, there's no doubt in my mind. I don't know what happened. Yeah, me neither. But there's nothing we can do about it tonight. So where does that leave us? Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly could use some cheering up. We were doing a pretty good job of that earlier. Well, I'm glad you find my misfortune so entertaining. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but it was a funny story, right? <laughs> yeah, if you like black comedies. Oh, come on. It could be worse. How? We could be alone tonight, wallowing in our troubles, feeling sorry for ourselves. But instead, we're here, on the beach, under the moon, and it's such a beautiful night. So we should make the best of it, don't you think? Guess we could try. Best laid plans of mice and men? <laughs> to friends. Friends. You know, mm. I really am glad you stopped by tonight. I mean, granted, this is not how I planned on spending the evening, but you're right. This doesn't have to be a loss. No. No, it doesn't have to be a loss. In fact, if I could get you to loosen up a little bit, we might have a good time. <laughs> well, I'm working on that. Well, you're not going to find a good time in there. You're going to find it up here. What is that you always tell me? Think positive and rise above adversity. Ah, see. Now that's the problem with unsolicited advice. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just returning the favor. You have been such a good friend. And through all the years that we've known each other, we've always been able to be up front with one another. And I really appreciate that. So do I, Brooke. so powerful. Powerful? Yeah. When you live by the beach, you learn to appreciate the moon's significance. Tide going in and out, like a long, slow heartbeat. <laughs> that cold, barren rock controls life on this planet. I wonder we're so enchanted by it. La Bella Luna. See, that's what I like about you, Thorne. You see things so differently. It's not bad. It's simple. Simple? Uncomplicated. You don't put any expectations or assumptions on anything. Now, if I were to look at that moon, I'd say there's the moon. But you look at it, and you, you see it for what it really is. You know, the Buddhists call that beginner's mind looking at everything as if for the first time. It takes practice, but once you get the hang of it, it makes every experience, no matter how mundane, more exciting. Well, I'll have to try that sometime. How about now? I've got you looking at the moon differently. Let me show you the beach. You mean you want to go in the ocean? 
Hell yes. Well, I, I didn't bring my swimsuit. What did you wear the first time you went swimming? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Brooke. Come on. It'll make you feel like a kid again. Last one ends the right name. done that. Remember, beginner's mind. Everything for the very first time. Everything? Yes. Every swim, every wave, every beat of your heart. Everything's always changing. Well, I definitely feel like a different person than I did when I showed up on your doorstep tonight. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, I feel alive and free. So do I. Thanks, Brooke. For what? For reminding me of what's important. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in the negative. We forget that our problems, no matter how big they are, are only temporary. You know, all that really matters is the present moment. And it's up to us to make it count. The way that we have tonight. You know, life isn't about the obstacles or the uncertainty that lay ahead of us. It's about right now. And right now, thanks to you,